Chronic productive or persistent infections would have this kind of pathogenesis, especially in persistent infections. So for, in so, uh, for some infections, there is inability of the immune system to eliminate the virus. And very important, since the immune system cannot eliminate the virus, there is continued viral replication. And then there is persistent viremia. And then there will be high mutation rate of the HIV or HBV. So time and time again, there will be mutation. So the immune system cannot cope or cannot mount an immune response specific to those um, infections and it will allow the or microorganisms to escape or uh, escape the um, reaction or control by the immune system. So, an example of which is um, hepatitis B virus. There will be a long term viral replication and there is recurrent immune mediated liver injury, very important, which would, which would eventually lead to two. Uh, cases it can be either liver cirrhosis or increased risk for hepatocellular carcinoma, so cancer of the liver. Um, it would be a significant cause of acute and chronic liver disease and uh, the, D the DNA virus that can be transmitted. This DNA virus is actually your hepatitis B virus can be transmitted percutaneously. Like for example, if you're a healthcare provider and you are um, about to uh, give um, injection to a patient and you suddenly prick yourself after um, using that syringe so you you might get the um, virus it can also be uh, gotten perinatally and sexually if the infection of the hepatocytes um, outspaces the ability of the cytotoxic lymphocytes to eliminate the infected cells, there will be a chronic infection. So, cytotoxic T lymphocytes or CTLs is actually a very important determinant whether the virus will be cleared or the person will become a chronic carrier. So, if the patient uh, cannot be cannot be able to eliminate the infected cells, he will become a chronic carrier. So, in this state. Uh, when, you, when you become a carrier state, uh, the, the cytotoxic T lymphocyte is dormant, uh, meaning there, will, uh, there is no progressive liver damage, but you are a carrier, you can transmit the virus to others.